Hello you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Bailey and today I am so excited for the video that I'm filming. Today I'm throwing it back like three years ago when I did my little online shopping vlog haul type of situation. Today I'm basically online shopping for my dream fall wardrobe, but more specifically my dream fall wardrobe for the trip that I'm taking to Europe in three weeks. wanting to go to Europe and telling everybody that I'm gonna go to Europe this year but I haven't planned anything or even like thought about it in detail once so two days ago I pulled the trigger I booked a flight to London on the 2nd and a flight home out of Rome on the 25th the tricky part about this is October is the beginning of fall in Europe and I don't know what to pack there's days where it could be like 75 and then there's days where it could be like 65 and you know 65 is pretty chilly you need a little jacket but when it's 75 you don't need a little jacket so my whole goal with packing and planning outfits for this trip is to build capsule outfits and what I mean by that is basically just like layering outfits I guess I'm talking pretty simple bottoms very simple tops and then like cute jackets so if I'm cold I can put a little jacket on if I get warm I can take it off also I will say the aesthetic and the style that I'm trying to emulate would also be very cute for school so I know you guys aren't all coming to Europe with me even though I wish that you could if you guys are in school this might give you some inspiration for you know some school outfits if you want to look cute on a certain day maybe this video can give you some inspiration this video is gonna be broken up into two parts one is the online shopping and ordering all the clothes basically spending all of my money and feeling so heartbroken at the end of it but then the second part is gonna be me receiving all the clothes unboxing them and doing a try on haul of my first impressions and everything like that I have done the damn work I've done the research not only for myself but for you guys and I have compiled this huge list of all of the top clothing stores that the girlies you know the Instagram girlies the TikTok girlies the fashion enthusiasts girlies are shopping at nowadays I actually don't know if that's true but I just did like a quick little TikTok search and I you know listed all of the clothing stores that people were recommending we're gonna start with basics because basics are the foundation of all of these outfits that I'm trying to plan for Europe and yes we could go over to skims or we could go over to Aritzia and find very solid basics but we're gonna try to save my bank account as much money as possible so we're gonna start on Amazon and the best place to find Amazon clothes that are actually cute if you guys know you know it's Amazon storefronts so many creators have Amazon storefronts you can go on TikTok and find so many amazing storefronts and that's like my number one tip for trying to find clothes on Amazon and I also have an Amazon storefront I'm not trying to shove it down your throat but it is in the description if you're interested here's my Amazon storefront and as you guys can see right here we have a skims dupe slash basics category list thing I already own some of these pieces but some I don't so maybe I need to purchase them for Europe so one of the first things that's catching my attention here is um, these y2k skinny long sleeve backless crop top square neck things when you actually click into it they have like different styled shirts as well so there's all of these different basics like long sleeve short sleeves there's 51 options so the first one that I'm really liking is this gray crop top that has this like cutout in the back I think I'm going to add that to my current okay the next one that I'm kind of liking is this like dusty blue colored one all right I'm back on the main page and this is catching my attention it's this little four pack of different colored tank tops for only 25 $4.99. Okay, I'm gonna go over to a different category. I'm gonna go into my tops category, which has so many cute tops in it. This is taking forever. Like, I thought it would just be like a quick little like scan through Amazon, a quick little scan through whatever. This is taking me a sec. It's already like dark out. My brother just brought me up a sub like 30 seconds ago and I've ate like this much of it already. I wonder if I should plug these lights in. I think that made the lighting worse, but sorry. <laughs> I'm still just scrolling, browsing Amazon for basics, and I found, like, a few good ones, but I don't know. Like, I'm having a hard time. Like, the ones that I think are really, really cute and, like, a good deal are sold out. So, so far, this is what is in my cart. A couple different things. I'm definitely going to narrow it down. I'm not going to be purchasing all of these things, but you're going to have to wait till the haul part of this video to see everything that I actually decided getting from each of these stores. But we're going to move on to our next store. And I'm gonna go over to Aritzia. Aritzia's basics are just like unbeatable. They're literally the best, most comfy, like just good quality basics that I've been able to get. 
This t-shirt right here in this particular color in the deep taupe color is my most worn basic that I probably have ever owned. It's my first purchase from Aritzia ever and I'm obsessed with it and I want to get this in different colors. I know it's $48 and it seems ridiculous, but guys, this t-shirt has never ever failed me. I'm in desperate need of a white plain crop t-shirt that isn't see-through and like that fits good and like feels good and that I don't need a bra with. And I feel like the white one in this particular one would be good because the material is super thick, so I feel like it won't be see-through. It'd probably be a good idea to get like a black one too, but I think I'm gonna skip it, but I really want it. Oh my God, these colors are so cute. Ooh, the dark brown one. Hmm. I think I'm gonna add the dark brown one to my cart, but I don't know if I'll get it, but I for sure am gonna get the white one. Um, I don't even know what I'm looking for. This is my problem. I'm like, I should be building outfits. Like, I should be shopping for specific outfits, and I'm just not doing that. What if I go over to Pinterest and I look up fall Europe outfits? Will that help me? Okay, guys, this is what we're gonna do. We are going to shop for outfits, not shop for individual clothing items, because that's what I always do, and then I'm always complaining that I don't have clothes, when really I have so many clothes, I just don't have outfits. Okay, oh my god, this is getting me so excited. I'm just gonna go and screenshot all of these cute ones Or should I just save them to it? I should totally just save them So this is the first outfit that caught my attention and she's just wearing black trousers with like a black bodysuit And a little sweater tied around her neck. I have black trousers and I have a black bodysuit But I really don't have like nice sweaters like I don't own any cute sweaters I'm gonna go over to princess Polly just because they always have what I'm looking for when recreating outfits This is really cute but it is kind of like oversized looking. So I don't know if it would be perfect for like tying around, but that would be cute wearing alone as well. Like that'd be cute to actually wear as a top, not just tie it around me. <laughs> this sweater right here is also very cute. Ooh, something like this would be really good. Okay, I'm just aimlessly looking now. I'm going to move on to the next outfit that I found cute. White sweater with a black skirt, tights, high boots, which how am I getting high boots over to Europe? But I totally am, whatever, we'll figure it out. And then a big leather black jacket blazer type of thing, which I already own. I don't have like a plain black skirt and I low key have needed one for a while now. Now I'm just gonna go over to each store and look through their new like fall edits, like their new, you know, like fall clothing. But I also do need a new pair of jeans. Like I have a bunch of jeans, but I don't have any jeans that are like, oh my God, those are my favorite jeans. They fit perfect, they're perfect. And I think it's because I have really long legs and I oftentimes have to find like tall. I'm actually about to go on to American Eagle right now and just look if they have any cute jeans. I just want like basic, simple, plain jeans. Why are these jeans $128? What is this new AE77 Premium? What the hell? I didn't know this was gonna be as exhausting as it is. I ventured over to Abercrombie because American Eagle's jeans were ugly um, and I found a pair of jeans. They're the ultra high rise 90s straight jean um, and they are sold out of like a bunch of colors in my potential sizes. Um, I really wanted to get these particular light wash ones but they're sold out in pretty much every single size. But I am getting this pair. I don't really have any dark wash plain jeans like this. And then I also added a pair of leather pants to my cart because I have the addicted leather pants, but I don't like how flared they are. We're gonna get both of those and now we're gonna go and we're gonna venture um, into the fall edits. I'm gonna go sit in my bed and do this. I can't sit here anymore. This stool's hurting my butt. I never sit here for this long, so. Okay, this might be the worst <laughs> angle ever. This is so freaking cute it's so hard though because i'm not gonna be able to pack that many jackets especially because one i don't even think i'm gonna need like heavy jackets two i can't fit all that so i have to be very picky when it comes to like bulky jackets and sweaters and stuff like that this is cute i kind of want to get a fun pair of like stocking type things this dress is really cute oh they don't have my size perfect <laughs> This I'm obsessed with. Like, I have been staring at this every single day since I've added it to my Amazon storefront. Comes in a few different colors. Do you guys want to hear something terrible? First of all, I left this much of my sandwich over there. It's 9.30. I've legitimately been looking for clothes since 6 p.m. I have probably, like, $3,000 worth of stuff added to my carts, and no, I'm not spending that much. I just need to go through and, like, you know, narrow it down, figure out what I'm actually getting, like, what's what's actually needed here. Guys, it's literally 1.30 a.m. I did take, like, an hour break. 
break and I hung out with my brother for a sec and we ate some snacks. I'm unwell and I'm not lying. I'm having heart palpitations because I'm spending so much money. And I'm not saying that to like brag like, oh, I, I'm spending so much money. I'm... I need to be clear, these are not just outfits for Europe. All of this stuff is going to be repurposed. A lot of it is basics. A lot of, I'm trying to like convince myself that this is okay. This is not okay. Please don't skip the ads. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you for watching. I might have to start a GoFundMe. I'm kidding. That was a joke, obviously. I've placed like four orders and I have like two or three more to place. <laughs> I'm literally like manic right now. This is so bad. This is how I view it. And it's kind of like girl math vibes. And you might be like, Bailey, come the fuck on. If I buy a shirt that's $100, which I would never do. Never buy a single shirt that was $100. But say I did. If I wore it 10 times, then that's $10 per wear. And if I wear it 20 times, which if it's like a solid basic, then I probably will. That's $5 per wear you know what i mean that's still a lot but i wouldn't buy a hundred dollar shirt why did you guys leave me alone like this this is so unhealthy shame on you do i just pull the trigger and do this expensive one? Oh my god <laughs> Okay, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. I'll deal with this. Hey guys, I'm back. It's been about a week and all of my packages are here, I think. There was a lot, so it's hard to keep track of them all, but I believe everything is here. There is one, two, three, four, five, six packages to open. And then I also went to the mall yesterday and I got two things from two different stores and I'm also going to include that. But y'all, look how much stuff this is. I don't know if you can tell. You can't see like the bottom of it. It goes like low. Like you're not, you're seeing half of it. This is gonna be crazy and I'm so excited because I honestly forgot what I ordered at this point because I did so much at one time from so many different stores. There's two smaller packages right here and I'm gonna start with these. So we have Zara and Aritzia and I'm gonna start with Aritzia because I know that I only got one thing. And here she is, my beloved white contour crew t-shirt that I have been wanting for so long. Finally here. The quality is amazing. It's so thick and soft. And this is honestly exactly what I was hoping for. Moving on to is Zara. I believe I got a dress or maybe two dresses. I don't even know. This is so fun. It feels like Christmas. Okay. Ah! Oh my God. I'm so excited. So first thing, this green. Oh my God. This is going to be so gorgeous. Oh. She looks very see-through. We'll see. First thing is this green floral maxi dress. This is what the top looks like. There's some like smock going on in the neckline. And then the sides are like ruched. And it goes all the way down into this gorgeous maxi dress. I really hope this isn't see-through. Can you guys see how see-through this looks? Like if I put it up to the camera, you can completely see through it. So that's kind of terrifying. But it looks gorgeous and it feels really nice. So hopefully... It's not see-through on. I have mixed feelings about this dress. It's not see-through like on my boobs like I thought it was going to be, but it is sort of see-through like through the legs. I don't like it. No, I do. It's just not like the most flattering dress. It kind of gives grandma. It isn't my favorite and I could definitely go without it. And then I got this dress, which I just thought would be perfect for Venice. I don't know if there's like a design in it. Like that kind of looks like a flower right there. Okay, I'm editing right now. And like looking at this, I was like, I wouldn't have ordered that dress. Like it's very pretty, but I would not have ordered that dress. I got the dress because I wanted blue and orange and blue and orange aren't in this dress. So I went on to Zara's website and I looked at the dress that I purchased and it comes in three different colors and for some reason it selected the wrong color so this is the dress that I ordered I would like to get it because it's fucking gorgeous but I don't want it to be see-through still like through the legs it's see-through but then when I cross my legs and you can't see through it I love it <sighs> I don't know what to do I don't know I'm pissed but it's just a strapless mesh dress again maxi dress I'm gonna move on to Amazon now and I did open this just because there was something in here that I got that I wanted to return i ordered a little white linen button up button down shirt thing but a few days after i placed the order i dropped some clothes off at plato's closet and i ended up finding a linen button down shirt that was even better than the one that i ordered and it was only like eight bucks so i am returning the one from amazon but i did get some things and i haven't looked at anything else this is what it's looking like first thing is this black tank top it's just like the basic that i picked out and this i was hoping would be like an aritzia dupe it's pretty similar it's not as soft or thick as like the aritzia fabric that's like this i will say that this is very cute and for the price that it was i think that it's gonna be great and then we have oh 
Y'all, this feels... Oh my god. Guys. Okay, so whenever I was ordering the Aritzia, like, white t-shirt, I really wanted to get the black one, but I was like, I cannot spend $48 on two t-shirts. Like, that's ridiculous. I'm not even lying. These are so similar, and this one feels even softer and thicker than the Aritzia one. Why do I want to return this and just get the white version of the Amazon one? Are you kidding me? The cut of them is extremely similar. The neckline is extremely similar, and this one is just as, like, it's it's even better the only thing that i don't love is that they have this little logo on the back which is not a big deal at all but i wish that it didn't have that this is the brand it's the crazy yoga brand on amazon i saw that they had like a bunch of different basics like this so run to amazon i'll link them in my skims do basic category on my amazon storefront literally love this what is this yo what is going on oh they vacuum sealed this bitch why Oh, these are just my basic long sleeves that I got because I needed some more. I got a black one. This is very soft. Not like the thickest material, but I feel like it's going to be perfect. And then I got it in this beige color as well. And I really hope that this isn't see-through. Very nice little basics. It was a good deal. Got a pack of two. I wanted to pop in instead of just putting this clip over top. And I'm going to say that I'm returning this little two-pack of long sleeves. They just like don't fit how I'd like. And this cream one is pretty see-through, so it's just not ideal for me i don't love the neckline and it's just overall too loose so i will be returning this one and the black one last thing from amazon is my little green tank top that i've been wanting for so long i just think it's so cute it's got like the kind of floral pattern texture and printed in it i also love this green color and it's very stretchy and soft okay moving on to abercrombie i hope that i love these okay oh i forgot i got three things i thought i only got two First thing is the pair of jeans that I picked out. Okay, once again, this is the name of the jeans, the 90 straight ultra high rise. I got these in tall. Oh, these look very tiny. The waist on these, I'm a little scared. Okay, they're very um, standard jeans. I really like the wash of them. They're very, like not stretchy, but I feel like if they fit good, they're gonna be very comfortable. Like they have some stretch, but not a lot of stretch. They look pretty long. It's really hard to tell with jeans until they're on, but they look good from what I'm looking at right now. Guys, I found it. I found the jeans that actually fit me perfectly. I've never done it. I've never done it. They're perfect. I want them in every color. And then I got a pair of linen trousers and I got these in long as well. So they're just like linen trousers. Could definitely dress these up or down. Perfect for Europe in my opinion. Finally, we've got my leather pants and I hope these are my holy grail. My holy grail because I've been searching for good leather pants for forever. I think I've bought like four different pairs of leather pants and you know the addicted ones are fine. They're good. They fit amazing. They make my booty look good but I don't like the flare on the bottom. So I hope these solve all my problems. Here they are. They're very shiny leather. I don't mind. Um, I've seen like more matte leather and I've seen more shiny and I, I usually think that the shiny one looks a little bit cheap but this doesn't look cheap. They look very nice um, and once again I got them in the long version. So let's hope to god that they are long enough for my little twig legs moving on to i believe this is white fox this looks like a big package and i forgot what i ordered so this should be fun okay okay first thing is a little set i believe they're the same exact material so i assume it's a set here's the first item it's a little tube top that is ribbed hopefully you guys can see the texture there very stretchy adorable i don't know <laughs> it's really hard to make comments on it before i try something on but right off the bat looks very cute feels very nice and then we have the matching little mini skirt this is gonna be such a fucking cute set imagine this with like a brown leather jacket over it in like Florence. I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking. Oh, I remember this. So I found almost this identical thing on Princess Polly and I added it to my cart. And then when I was on White Fox looking, I found this one, which was pretty much the same thing, like I just said, but it was cheaper. So I got the White Fox one. The little tiny, like, sweater shawl thing. Oh, it's called a bolero. It's just like a cream little ribbed sweater thing. My camera is like not focusing. It's pissing me off, but that's what it looks like. Pretty soft. It's not like the softest sweater ever, but it's not itchy or anything. So this will 
would be cute to just like throw over you know a dress or a little shirt this is what the texture looks like kind of fun here is the top of it it's just like spaghetti straps and then the back is completely open but it like ties oh you can't see it there that's what it looks like cute low back and then it just goes into the midi dress and there is a tiny little slit that will probably go up to like my knee i would assume absolutely love this again literally perfect for europe like how could i not get this another dress this one i honestly kind of regret getting at first i was like oh my god this is perfect like this reminds me so much of like greece i'm not going to Greece, but like kind of the same vibe. Don't get me wrong. I love it almost feels like they did a little too much here And I didn't realize it until afterwards because I went back on the website and I was like looking at more dresses and I saw this dress again and I was like I think I got that and I think that I'm not that obsessed with it actually you never know until it's on You know, it is very pretty. I love like the lace detailing. It just feels like too much but we'll see we'll see okay here's the dress on it looks very cute from the front it fits everywhere perfectly i love like this like the little whatever but i will say it's very short from the back like my butt literally ends right there i feel like this is one of those dresses that would be super cute for like one photo but then like being comfortable walking around in i don't know i think i'm gonna return it this is my knitted dress that i was looking for i was looking for a knitted black dress so hard so hard i was I wanted one so bad and I looked at every single website I could think of trying to type in black knit dress and this ended up being my favorite this is what the top of it looks like the back again has like so many cutouts and it ties completely open back and then it goes down into a maxi dress and this looked beautiful on the model I'm hoping it looks hopefully decent on me it feels amazing quality super soft all right that's everything from white fox let's move on to princess polly which was my biggest order of them all i think i spent over 500 dollars here and i'm not proud of it but life goes on this video is gonna be so damn long i hope you guys are enjoying this because i'm not actually i am this is so fun shopping is one of my favorite things ever and i have like a serious spending problem but me making a video out of my spending problem is like making me feel better about it because it's like i'm making a video out of it you know what i mean like i'm making content the way that i've justified myself in this video is crazy and i'm sick of it <laughs> First off, I got this maroon floral dress. I normally don't wear dresses that much, but I just figured like dresses, like long dresses, if you put a jacket on, it can be like a pretty warm outfit. I'm just thinking about layering and stuff. I feel like I can get away with wearing long dresses even when it's a little bit chilly out. So here's what the top of the dress looks like. I just thought it was like so beautiful and elegant. It's kind of like a silky material. And then it goes down, there's a little slit. Beautiful maxi dress. Cannot wait to try this on. This is the last thing that I'm trying on in this. I know it's all out of order for me but like for you guys it's making sense i've tried on all of this stuff already and this is my last thing and i can't even zip it it's a size four all the other princess poly dresses that fit me were a size four so <laughs> love the dress it's perfect like it's beautiful and i need it so once again i'm going to exchange this but besides that gorgeous i'm low-key sweating from doing all of this next item is the little black skirt that i found this looks perfect just very basic there's a little like v cut in the front so it should be pretty flattering on don't really know what else to say about it we have another pair of linen pants these ones i know i just opened the linen like trousers from abercrombie but just to prove to you guys they're a different color these ones are more tan brown and these ones are more like cream beige oh no all my stuff is falling off my bed linen trousers like this are a staple for europe like all the europe girlies like all the bitches in europe be wearing these swear at least like the people that vacation there that i'm following on instagram they be wearing these i love like the coloring of them very hard to see it's not picking up on camera whatsoever they're cute <laughs> i don't think they're supposed to be cropped but i feel like i could get away with this length if i wore like a little platform sandal in the picture I don't think they're cropped though so you know I am 5'8 I have long legs so this is pretty normal for me however I will say I got a size 2 I'm usually a size 2 in Princess Polly they're a little tight on the waist like if I were to sit down they would burst at the seams so I will be exchanging these for a size 4 and then hopefully they'll be a little bit longer and fit on my waist better I've wanted this skirt for so long and I haven't bought it and it's not necessarily for Europe but I figured this would be a perfect time to get it because I can also wear it in Europe with like a little like sweater and a little like leather I like am just envisioning all the outfits right now and they're perfect. Yeah, this has been on my princess polycarp for a while and I just haven't so I did Oh, 
this is so cute forgot i got this so here's what she looks like it's just a little green mini dress that ties i got it one because i'm just like obsessed with this green color and then also i thought this texturing was so cool and i don't really have anything like it it feels like great quality and i feel like it's gonna be so cute on this dress i absolutely love i have one issue with it in that it's just a little bit too short and a little bit too small feeling i got it in a size two which i don't know why i did that because i'm usually a four in princess poly dresses love the dress it looks great feels great just am going to exchange it for a bigger size this is a midi skirt i believe here she is just a black long skirt i have a black long skirt but i'm gonna be straight up with y'all it's from motel rocks and it's like literally t-shirt material i don't know it it's very cute but for me it just isn't what i want when i want a black skirt for this trip at least this is just like a lot nicer looking and feeling it's very stretchy very like thick material and again so many cute outfits are coming to mind when i just like look at that and then i had to get one of these because every single girl once again in europe always seems to have one of these and it's a silk button up shirt how am i fitting all this in my suitcase that's the funny part and like this is just the stuff that i just bought there's no way like there's literally no way so cute it's like this like tannish it's almost like a champagne color actually Oh my god, it's literally in the color champagne. I'm so good at shopping and knowing colors. So cute. Silk. The buttons are fun. So many different things could be done with this. I love her. Very soft. Like, very, very soft. But still thick. It's not, like, cheap silk. Like, super thin material. It's very soft. Now we have an off-the-shoulder knit top. I actually just saw one of these at H&M when I was in there the other day. It was very similar to this, but it was more thick and more like a sweatery material. I guarantee the one from H&M was cheaper, so if you're interested in this, um, it goes it's not a big turtleneck it goes like over your shoulders like this oh and there's a little asymmetric detail on the waist I didn't notice um if you're interested in this check H&M before you check Princess Polly because I'll, it might be cheaper it is like thicker sweatery like not itchy but like that sweatery material where this is like a thin soft sweatery material which I prefer you don't really care about the texture get the H&M one probably in the picture on the website this fold part covers the yiddies which would be great because it is very see-through on like you can see my whole nipple through it but i think my boobs or something are just too big that the fabric doesn't stay down and it like rolls up it's just like not laying how i'd like it to i think i might have to return this but i absolutely love it <laughs> okay you guys i wanted to give it a fair try so i ran into my room and got my little nude sticky bra and usually this will do the trick like if i'm wearing something see-through you can literally see the entire bra through the shirt. I honestly might go to H&M and get the other one that I was talking about because I really like the idea of the off the shoulder, but it's just not executed well at all. <laughs> oh, I thought this was more cream colored. I guess it's in the color beige um, and it looks more brown to me, which is cute. I'm fine with this, but I thought it was gonna be a little bit more cream colored. Cute little sweater. It's got like a collared neck that kind of has like a V-neck. Big chunky sleeve, just like a chunky sweater. Super cute. I don't know. This is a white skirt, a white maxi skirt. I figured this was a necessity for um, Europe. Everybody's always wearing one of these. It's got like little details across, like little, I don't even know what you would call it, like ruffles. Just like a regular waistband. It's very big though and like chunky. It's gonna take up a lot of room in my suitcase. Final thing, we have another maxi dress. And this one I just thought would be perfect for so many, oh my God, I'm so excited. This is gorgeous. Okay, first of all, the floral print of it is so cutesy, girly. Like, I'm in my girly era, even though it doesn't look like I am. Like, I'm in my little floral print era. Like, I love this. And then it's the softest material ever. Goes down into a long, beautiful maxi. And it's honestly perfect. The back has, like, a pretty low back. I don't know. Cute. Show off my back tattoo, of course. Love. Okay, that is everything that I ordered. And then I got a new pair of Uggs yesterday at the mall. I have the tall, not, like, the super tall ones, but I have, like, the size taller than this and I'm going to depop them I believe because I really wanted to get the classic minis I just I don't really wear the taller ones and I thought that these ones are cuter there's an even shorter pair that I was thinking about getting but I don't know I thought that these were the best option for me also I know like the big platform ones are very in I personally think they're very ugly I think that <laughs> on me on me I think that people make them look super cute with their outfits but I looked at them and I just couldn't help myself but laugh like I just wanted to laugh like that's one thing that I just I don't know got these ones super cute I'm gonna wear these 
all the time. And then finally, I got my light wash pair of jeans. If you guys remember when I was ordering the um, Abercrombie jeans, I was hoping, I was saying that I was hoping that they would have them in stock in a lighter color and they ended up not having them in the color I wanted. But I found these jeans at American Eagle and they're exactly the same wash that I was looking for. They're in like the regular length, but they are long enough on me. And the waistline kind of has like a little like cross. It's not like completely crisscross, but the button is like a little lower on this like it kind of crosses over kind of fun i don't know they're the baggy straight jeans <laughs> guys i'm sweating like my knee crevices like literally dripping sweat and i have to try on all this stuff for you which you guys already got to see but <sighs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> this is gonna take so long. Thank you guys so much for watching. I thought that this video was so much fun and I, like I said, I love shopping. I, I hate spending money, but at the same time, it's like I kind of love spending money. I'd love it if it wasn't my own money that I was spending, but it is. So I hope this video didn't come off the wrong way. I'm not trying to sit here and like brag or be like, I'm spending so much money. Like I genuinely needed new clothes. Like it's been a while since I've done a huge clothing haul like this where like I've just bought myself clothes. So it's all my own money that I've worked hard for and I get to spend it how I please. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Don't forget to turn on, to, uh, uh, don't forget to turn on the post notifications and yeah, comment down below what your favorite item is that I bought today, which I know it's hard to choose because there's so many but let me know what your favorite is and yeah I love you guys bye bye